Hi, I'm Leroy Keane for Around My House, and this time we're around my sister's house. And my uh, brother-in-law has built a windmill here, which we're going to look at, and uh, he's going to describe um, all the features of this windmill. Yes, it, it, it gets some speed down. So there's the windmill, and it's just winning. So keep it now. This uh, windmill. Where's she wanted? Janet so you know, wanted a windmill, huh? <laughs> yeah, and to save a couple bucks, hopefully. Maybe add it to the ground. The center hub, if it spins up far enough, you can see it. Say, uh, Paula Dean frying pan. <laughs> yeah, they was, uh, it, it's a nice piece of aluminum. It's got like quarter inch walls on it. The uh, blades come out of a piece of uh, a metal I'd stripped out of a mobile home. Brackets for the bearings and all are uh, leftover spring retainers from I want to put overload springs on the Toyota and I haven't had it in eight years. I just got them out of the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, so currently you have um, it running to the generator, which is in the metal, metal uh, case there, but. The generator isn't hooked up at the moment yet. No, so I, I've pulled the uh, I've pulled the brushes out of the slip ring. Yeah. I had I went ahead and made my own slip ring. I had drilled a board with a vertical hole big enough to receive uh, a three-quarter piece of uh, P C P V C is a, is a non-conductive shaft. And slid on two uh, zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the piece of wood. And you can see the piece of wood underneath. See the two holes coming in from the side. Yeah. Yeah, they're drilled to receive uh, the brushes out of an old circular saw. Ah. And uh, it's three quarter piece. Uh, CPVC is my non conductive shaft, and I had uh, slid two three quarter copper uh, connectors up on it, spaced them about an inch apart, drilled them, and soldered the joints, and it runs up. Uh, connected runs up through the uh, the housing base, the half inch piece of steel pipe. Yeah, she had wanted the uh, the 16 blade look because it looks a little more traditional, like a. Okay. Yeah, the arrow motor. I mean, these the arrow motors were fantastic. They lasted forever, and they did a real well job, real good job. They. Uh, Hot to work. It didn't take a whole lot of wind to get them started. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. The you know, I mean, we're not we're getting good wind, but we're not getting a lot, um, and it's spinning pretty good. Though it looks like it's having a little trouble getting into the wind there, but yeah, there the it goes. tail could good. have been bigger. I uh, wasn't sure of the formula. You know, how yeah. big the tail needed to be. Uh, I'm thinking about taking a, I've got a piece of sheeting out of a screen door and uh, increase the tail below too. Yeah. Though it's doing pretty good. It was just, 
as the wind was shifting a little bit there, it well, got it, a little... it's got a momentary drag. I think yeah. I've got to put uh, some sort of a space right ground out some uh, piece of conduit this morning to go because I didn't have a lathe that could take the uh, 65 thousands off the outside of the shaft, so I had to, uh, to go for a smaller shaft. like uh, you're using 2x6 and some 2x4 to build the whole thing. Well, that's pretty good. So, um, so that's the windmill and uh, we'll, uh, we'll follow up with Keevan later when he, uh, he's thinking of hooking it up to um, the hot water heater. 